Got a little treat for you here. This is me at my running store back in the day. Look at that, there I am, right there. Okay, run that intro. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Runner G. This is Junior here at the runner's desk. And as always, I wanna point out that this is a non-sponsored video. Okay guys. So today we are going to be all talking about all about kids running shoes and my tips for fitting your little one that is running on a club team or just for fun or whatever. Uh, some tips here for fitting them with shoes. So I'm going to start off with if you happen to live near a running shoe store that happens to carry kids shoes, not all of them do. Hey, go support your local running store. Go there. Uh, they might even give you a club discount or something if your kid runs on a on a team or a club. Uh, so yeah, let's start off with that. You know, we'll support to the local running shoe store. Make sure you have adequate space in there because I'm sure you know, your kid might have like a growth spurt and his foot might be bigger in like a month. So Give those toes a little extra room in there, so in case he has a growth spurt, or she has a growth spurt, toes aren't squished up, okay? That's the most important thing. Give your kid a little bit of some extra space in there. Not too much. Don't want to be swimming around in there, but, you know, think ahead that, you know, they might have a growth spurt, all right? The next thing is the arch. Oh, man. I get this one all the time. Parents come in and they, they, they want to get some really good shoes for their kid. I don't blame them, you know, little kid's going to be running and stuff. So, but their biggest concern is the arch. That is my least concern. When they come in for the kids, I'm not worried about their arch at all. Sometimes they'll say like, well, he's got like, he or she's got like a really flat arch. I'm like, great. Okay. So he's got a flatter with their arch. That might change over years, over time. I say if the kid's not having any discomfort, then I wouldn't worry too much about the shape of the arch if it's a higher arch or a lower arch. Don't make that too big of a concern. Don't, don't look into it too much, okay? If the kid is having some arch pain or foot pain or something, then maybe you need to go see a, like a podiatrist uh, or a kid's foot doctor or something like that. But just in general, just because you kind of notice that the, the arch is flat, don't worry about that, it's not a big deal. I certainly don't worry about it when I get a customer that comes in that has a flat arch. Uh, that kind of goes along with uh, pronation shoes. Sometimes it'll be, oh, he's got really, he or she's got flat arches. And uh, you know, I was told that you should get like a pronation shoe or, or the parent wears pronation shoes and this chair is really squeaky. So let me get a different chair and I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Parents that are concerned about pronation, uh, especially if they have, the kid has like flat feet, they might read up or hear about pronating in. Um, that is when you land on the outside of your heel here and you pronate in here. Um, I wouldn't worry about that when it comes to the kids. Don't worry about that. Um, unless the kid is having foot pain again, and in that case, they should really go see a podiatrist or a kid's foot doctor or something. So don't worry about the pronation. Uh, usually kids are so lightweight, they're not going to really do any kind of pronation effect on the shoe anyway. Uh, really, one thing to keep in mind when, when it comes to the pronation features in a shoe, they're not designed there to stop you from pronating. They're designed that if you do pronate, after hundreds of miles, you're going to crush this side of the shoe. And in the case of a kid, they're probably gonna outgrow the shoe before they actually compress and break down this side of the shoe. So again, don't really worry about pronation control in the shoe. Now again, if you go see a doctor and the doctor says, hey, uh, I want that kid in a pronation control shoe, uh, just keep in mind, I can only think of three kid shoes that have any pronation specifically pronation control in the shoe. And that is the New Balance 860 and an A6 GT 1000 or 2000 model. I forget which one it is. And the Saucony Guide, if they have that. Uh, but outside of that, that's it. So 
you're really gonna really reduce that kid's pickings of like what shoe shoes are available. Um, I would, uh, you know, unless one of those shoes really works out for your kid and the doctor says he wants your kid in a pronation control shoe, I, I would go back to the doctor and say, look, is this shoe stiff enough? Can I, can I twist this, this, you know? So, uh, so think of that more than a specifically pronation designed shoe. Not to get too nerdy on you there. All right, anyway, um, prices of the shoes. You know, kids got to grow their shoes. Uh, these things can get kind of expensive. You don't need to get a really expensive shoe for your kid, uh, especially if they're having growth spurts and stuff and they're gonna have grow them. Um, you know, start, you know, try those inexpensive shoes. Uh, not necessarily bottom barrel online discounty shoes, but you know, something that has like a, a New Balance uh, logo on it, or a Saucony, or an Asics, um, that, uh, or even a Nike that, you know, is, is very priced within your price, you know, that you're trying to do. You, uh, don't think that, you know, if you go to the, you know, way more expensive option that you're going to be getting really that much more shoe. So, uh, shoes for the kids should be fairly flexible. So there should be some flexibility in here. They can be a little bit firmer back here in the heel, but they should be nice and flexible. Um, I wouldn't recommend, especially for little kids, um, super stiff shoes like this A6 Nimbus. This is very, it's not going to flex. It's gonna be more of a rocker typing type of design to this. So I would stick with the, in the kids shoes, um, you know, this is really nice and it's still kind of solid back in the heel here. Moving along, all right. Uh, please keep uh, shoes for running, not for that. Okay, I know what I wrote there. I know what I, I saw it. Okay, so what I'm saying here is try to keep your kids running shoes for running. I know, that sounds funny. But not for their daily. And this actually goes for you adults too. Here, listen to me here, listen to me. Um, try to keep your running shoes for just your running not don't wear these things all day and all night unless you bought them specifically for wearing all day and all night but if you're also running you should have your own separate pair of shoes just for when you're running and or walking okay so uh try not to wear them for both is what i'm saying okay that's what i'm saying here okay um reason is i tend to fit differently if the person's gonna be wearing the shoes for 10 to 11 hours a day or something like that as opposed to going out for a run or walk for one or two hours right so how long you spend in the shoe really does contribute to how the shoe should fit on your foot and don't even get me started on socks okay okay uh, that's a conversation uh let's see here oh yes yes this is a big one. Um, please, please teach your kids how to tie their little laces here. It's not good. They're not knowing how to lace their, tie their shoes. Um, yes, I, uh, I amazingly do get quite a few kids, even almost near teens that don't know how to tie their shoes. So please, please take that time, have them tie their shoes. Uh, or learn how to tie their shoes, okay? Um, they should know how to tie their shoes. So that's my little nitpick is that. Um, and then the last thing really is, um, and I know this might actually spawn up some conversation here. Feel free to write down in the comments here what you think of it. Um, is, uh, you know, if the kid likes the look of this shoe more, whoop, whoop, a little weird lighting. Um, they like that shoe look more than this one or that one or this one let them pick by the look i know that uh i know some parents are going to be like hey you know no i want to make sure it's the technical good shoe if they're both fairly technically the right shoe or good options let them pick by look yeah let them pick the you know to me it's like picking a, a guitar for a kid you know let the kid pick you know if they like that bright red crazy looking electric guitar let them pick the look you know that's what makes them ex excited to uh grab that guitar or grab those pair of shoes and want to go run or play guitar with her you know let them you know hey rock and roll with pick the one pick the shoes that inspire the kid to want to 
put the shoes on and go for a run and join that run club or run that team or something. You know, um, you know, if they don't want to put those shoes on, they probably aren't going to want to run. So, uh, yeah, let them, let them, you know, if they, you know, don't just pick the shoes by the look. Hey, if that's important to the kid and that's going to inspire them to want to put them on and go for a run. Hey, rock and roll, you know, let them do that. So, um, I mean, obviously if the shoe really doesn't fit well or something like that and, and it's way too small or something like that, then yeah, yeah, you know, no, hey, hey, you know, I don't think so. But um, yeah, you know, I don't have any problem with that. Other than that, um, I want to say thanks for watching uh, the last video that I did. Uh, whew, man, we got a lot of new subscribers from that last video. So please, uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe. All those things really do help. Uh, again, these are non-sponsored videos. I don't make any, I ain't making any money from them. Certainly not yet. I keep bringing those uh, likes and subscribers and things and stuff. And uh, that's it. I uh, hope you got something good out of this video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or things and stuff down, down in the comments, let me know. And uh, with that, I'll see you on the next video.